Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, I want to talk a little bit about this very common question, which a lot of you ask me that how much time will it take me to become a developer, to become a full stack developer, or if you go even more specific, how much time it will take me to complete the full stack learning path on CodeDAM? And the answer to all of them is it depends. And what does it depend on? Let's discuss in this video. And I'm also gonna show you a nice little widget, which we now have on codedam.com, which allows you to calculate this time. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, if you go to the full stack path on codedam, you will see this very small widget at the bottom, which is still mostly a work in progress, but it's functional. So what you have to realize the three most important parts or the variables in this equation are the number of hours you're spending per day learning, number of days you're spending a week learning, and what inherently is your capacity of learning, right? And I want to spend some time on each one of them, but starting with the last one, which is inherent capacity, right? Now, this one really depends on person to person, really. And this is a factor which can speed up or slow down your learnings. For example, some people really understand a lot of things quickly, right? They're able to grasp something quickly. They are able to get started with it quickly. And for some other people, it might take some time in terms of understanding the theory properly, then understanding the practical examples properly and understanding the whole thing properly, right? So this, this part of the UI, you have to decide what kind of person you are. Are you a fast learner? If yes, of course, that will help you speed up a few things. Are you someone who learns at a moderate pace and you have to go back a little once in a while to check on what you learned earlier? You forget sometimes, it's fine, but you have a moderate pace still going on. Or are you someone who you feel that would that you take a lot of time to learn a new concept, right? Even if you have read about or learned about science or maths or anything, you feel like you're somebody who takes up a lot of time in order to completely understand a new concept or something. In that case, pick up this option. This is something which is inherent and mostly you would not have a lot of control over this. You can control it somehow. You can jump from somebody who understands slowly to the next level and maybe even to the next level if you just keep on learning, right? If, if you keep on making these things seem more intuitive to yourself, right? And that is what this widget, the rest of the two parts of the widget specify. The next thing, which is the hours per day and the days per week. This is really interesting for me because even if you, let's, let's take an example of collectively spending seven hours a week, right? Now, one of the permutations for doing that, if you spend seven hours, one day per week, that means you're just taking out a Saturday or a Sunday and just spending seven hours that day alone. Now compare this with the equivalent where you spend the same amount of time, that is one hour, for every seven days, but there's a drastic difference in the calculator. The earlier calculations showed 18 months. This one shows you 10 months. And this is like a deliberate algorithm in place. Why? Because second most important thing you have to realize is that consistency matters a lot more than just having random spikes of learning in your journey. This is because this one hour you're spending on every single day, you're actually reinforcing whatever you learned in the past again next day. But if you spend that, you know, once every week, then that energy, that momentum is truly lost. So this is really important if you're starting off, not only in just the score dams full stack learning path, but in general, anywhere, if you're trying to learn something new, then make sure that you are consistent over a long period of time, whether that's something in life, whether that's business related, whether that's a new skill, whether that's a new technical, non-technical skill, consistency over everything. And finally, one last piece of this calculation, the algorithm which I want to discuss is that if you spend just way too much time, then you have diminishing returns, right? So what you can see now is, let's say if I have, if I spend just three days per week, Spending 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 hours does not mean a lot, right? Because after a certain amount of time, your just brain stops functioning. You cannot be really understanding and really productive if you're spending like 20 hours a day. 
So what you have to do is figure out what a right number for you is and then maybe play with the amount of time you can allocate in a week, right? Don't just try to cram everything in a single day, but rather spread your hours across the week because when you do that, that is when magic happens. That is when you actually start to see real progress and real benefits. And of course, the final thing you could see is that although it goes as low as two months, don't really expect this to have to be, you know, two months because first of all, we do have a lot of content which is still coming soon in 2021. So you will see that this number goes up a little bit, hours of content close to like 90 or 100. Therefore, this would also increase. This whole calculation is based on the duration of Codedam's full stack learning path. But the idea here is that this would definitely take a few months of effort. You cannot be just industry ready in the span of weeks. And especially some if you're someone who has just started learning programming so you have to be patient you have to understand that these things take time and you have to be smart about how you approach this learning so i hope this widget gives you a bit of idea on how much time would it take you or you know what kind of progress you should be making on a daily and a weekly basis you can check it out for free of course i mean the widget is free the learning path you can purchase but you can purchase it and check it out at codedam.com slash learning path slash full stack you will find all the links on the screen in the description of the video so yeah that's pretty much it for this video let me know what your views are how much time it took you to learn full stack web development for me it took me eight years of very very gradual effort but of course that's not what i was preparing for that happened eventually but for most of you guys out there who are actually preparing for full stack web development, who are actually actively looking for a job or an internship or anything, I hope that Codedam's full stack learning path as a whole helps you to get started with that. And this mini calculator just helps you understand a few or rather get a good sense of what the estimated timeline should look like. So that is all for this one. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video really soon. If you're still watching this video, make sure you comment down in the comment section. I watched this video till the end. Also, if you're not part of Codedam's Discord community, you're missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code. You already know the drill. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching.